Hello boys and girls, it's Oli here again, and this time I wanted to make a quick tutorial to show you how you can edit and fix your 3D Gaussian splatting model axis orientation and set up the pivot point in correct position. If you have already tested the creation of 3D Gaussian splatting models, either in a mobile application or in a web browser, you probably noticed that often the end result can be a bit skewed or tilted. You will notice this at least when you export the Gaussian point cloud to some other software such as Unreal Engine and try to process and position it in its 3D environment. Of course you can try to rotate your model and set it into the right position inside the program, but wouldn't it be better if the origin of the model was already set to the correct axis orientation before you bring the model into the application? Depending on which service you have used to create Gaussian models, the axis orientation is slightly different whether you used Luma AI or Polycam. The industry standard is that the green Y axis should be the up axis and the C axis should represent the depth. And most of the common 3D programs like Maya, Cinema 4D, Houdini, Zebras uses this rule. And also the Polycam service tries to use this standard. But then there are other popular programs like Blender and Unreal Engine that uses a different method, where the blue Z is the up-pointing axis. Let's look at an example. Here I have a 3D scanned model of my cam recorder. This is a Gaussian splatting model implemented using the Polycam service. When we look at the model on the website it seems to be fine and roughly in the right position. But when we save the model as a PLY file and export it into the Unreal Engine, we notice that it is completely on its side. And this is precisely because the application used completely different axis orientation. Well, how can we then fix this so that the positioning of the model goes correctly, at least in Unreal Engine? Supersplat is a web-based Gaussian editor. You can directly drag and drop the PLY file into this viewport. This software is usually used to clean Gaussian models, and you can easily delete points or extract your desired area. I now also use this program for that purpose and want to separate my camera model from its background so that we can better see the pivot of the 3D object. In order to make the X, Y and Z coordinate system visible, we need to activate this show origin checkbox from the left side menu under the scene heading. The pivot point appears in the viewport and the axis directions are shown as unfortunately thin lines. I hope you see them. The color coding follows typical RGB method, where the red means the X axis, green the Y axis and blue the Z axis direction. Each value has its own field in the menu. And from here we can adjust either the position of the center point or the rotation values. We can either enter the values numerically or we can click and drag the mouse left to right to increase or decrease these numbers. With this tracking method we can straight away see the change inside the viewport. We notice that the origin point itself remains in place and the 3D model moves or rotates around it. And when we rotate the viewport itself, we can set the perspective so that the axis direction is pointing straight at us. 
This way we observe how the model looks from the left front or top view. And by placing the site in each field of view, we can rotate the Gaussian model to the position where we want it to be placed. In this case, I want the green y-axis to point up from the center of the camera. And if you want the pivot to be more in the middle of the lens of this camera recorder, I can change its position. Now the setting is pretty well in place, but I noticed that the axis lines get stuck quite far outside the model. It's because of scaling. Originally, Gaussian splatting models are usually quite large because they include a large part of the background. Then a single object inside it can remain quite small. That's why it might be good to increase the scaling a bit so that the model doesn't end up being that tiny when it's loaded into another environment. The scaling value can be increased from this field and usually the number 2 or 4 sets a more suitable value for the model. But it's good to know that scaling is often the value that has to be changed later. Gaussian splatting models rarely hit the right scale when they are generated. When you are finished, you can press export to PLY file and the file will be downloaded to your computer from the SuperSplat service. In general, axis orientation can be quite confusing and understanding and mastering them can be challenging. The most important thing is to see which axis is pointing up and then position the model accordingly. Each program that utilizes Gaussian splatting model is slightly different and the coordinate system may be non-standard. Practice teaches you how to position the model, and at least now you know one good application where the pivot point can be modified. Do you have any experience or good tricks for adjusting axis orientation? Leave the comment below, and I hope this was useful. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you again. Thanks for watching.